Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am here once again to talk about this. Once again, I am here. I am here to talk about the Western Conference Finals game between Golden State and San Antonio. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, look, this was a game in the beginning, and I have to say, San Antonio at least showed up for a little bit. And then, you know, in the second half, Golden State just boom, boom, you know. They just would not stop shooting. Kevin Durant went for 19 in the third quarter. You can't do shit about that. Kevin Durant just seven-footer. It's almost like if you... It's almost like the White Howard with a three-pointer. You know, it's there's no way to guard this, this man when he's feeling it like that. You know, tonight was one of those nights where I've been watching Golden State for a while now, obviously the entire year. And I like, you know, they still run the offense through Steph Curry. But not tonight. Tonight, especially in the second half, it was Kevin Durant taking over. Kevin Durant, I'm not going to say he won the game, but he was the... He was the he, he was the most reason why they won this game because he dropped 33, 19 of them coming in in one quarter. This brother showed up tonight, okay? This brother showed up. Who knows? The part, I think they still would have won, you know? Um, Clay Thompson, you know, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, um, you know, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry would have probably done, done enough. Maybe he had to score a little bit more. But tonight I thought Kevin Durant made a, made a statement. He showed up, dropping 19 in the third quarter, 33 all together. Okay, you know, I'm not too, I'm, like I said before, I'm not too very happy with this man being in Golden State. I think he messed up the entire season. He made everything too easy for everybody. If you, okay, you know what, look, if you're going to Las Vegas, if, okay, let me say something right now. If Las Vegas did a bet all the way back in November, a bet, who is going to the championship, to the NBA, to the NBA Finals? Who's going to the NBA Finals? If you get it right, you win $1,000. If Las Vegas did that bet, they need to... <laughs> I, I, I hope they didn't. But, you know, there are some bets. Um, I know there are some bets like that. You know, who's going to the World Series, you know, who's going to the NBA Finals, you know. If there was a bet this year, if there was a bet all the way back in November when the season started... Who is going to the NBA Finals this year? If you if you get it right, you win a thousand dollars. Las Vegas needs to be drug tested because I know there's actually bets like that. But you would have to be so stupid if, if this year you actually in Las Vegas actually did a bet this year, asking all the way back in November who was going to be in this year's 2017 NBA Finals. If Las Vegas did that shit, somebody in Las Vegas needs to be drug tested ASAP. The man who decided to come up with the bet, I get it in some in baseball you can do it. who's gonna win the World Series this year, who's gonna win the Super Bowl, you know. But if you I there is bets like this because I've been I've been um messaged um by by friends and you know, hey, they're asking me who, like, all the way back in March, they're asking me, who do you think is going to win the World Series this year? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, I tell them. And, you know, like, okay, I'm going to bet, you know, for Las there's a bet going on. If I get it right, I win money. Same thing with the Super Bowl. Uh, I think last year somebody called me, and I told them it was going to be, um, I told them it was going to be um, Carolina, versus New um, Carolina versus New England, you know. And, and if you would have won money, obviously, no, it ended up being um, – New England, Atlanta. But anyways, if there was a fucking idiot in Las... Well, if somebody in Las Vegas or Las Vegas altogether came up with this bet of asking back in November who is going to who is going to end up in the 2017 NBA Finals, there's going to be a lot of people winning money right now, okay? There's going to be... I should have... I, I, somebody let me know because I should have done that shit. Anybody should have done that shit. Any, how predictable has this season been? It's just been so predictable. I cannot believe this shit. This season has been so predictable. I have not seen a season more predictable than this. When I went back, I've been watch, I've been watching basketball. I want to say since maybe two thousand. I've been watching basketball for. I don't know. I don't know. I've been watching basketball for a long time. 2002, 2000, I don't know, somewhere around there. But if somebody actually did this bet, asking all the way back in November, who is going to the end 2017 NBA Finals, you are stupid, Las Vegas, because it was so predictable. It was so predictable. 
there was no way in hell you were going to say other than, not, nothing other than Golden State versus Cleveland. It was so predictable. So, I don't know. But somebody let me know because I'm an idiot. I, I, feel, more, I feel more of an idiot if, I'm not, if, that's, if there was actually a bet like that and me not knowing, okay? So, let me know. I hope there wasn't, but I would not be surprised because, like I said, I was contacted. Um, I, I want to say, what was it, in the summer last year about asking me who I think is going to win the Super Bowl? And then I, you know, I said, and, you know, if you would have won money, if it would have been that, if it would have been Carolina versus um, New England, he would have won money. So, I mean, I hope there was not a bet like that in basketball this season. And that would have been, there's a lot of people going to be winning some money this year. Um, but like I said, the Marcus Lodge tried to show up, drop 18 points. The guy just fucking sucks. He ain't about shit when it comes to the bright lights. He's a good player, but he, to me, he's not a, he's not a star. He's not, the, he's not a star. He's not something you, he's not a guy you want to have. A, uh, he, he can be your second player, but he, you're, you're not going to win with Marcus Holes, which I'm sorry. He, he's showing it right now. He's showing it right now. He is not a guy you want to build your team around. So Lakers, I'm happy they didn't sign him two years ago because he is not a player you want to build your team around. 18 points. He tried, he killed himself. He tried to show up, but he just... I don't know what to say, but 18 points. It seemed like he had a little bit more, but he only had 18. I mean, the guy just isn't good enough to carry the entire team. Whatever now, 3-0, it's over. We all know. Well, let's just finish it. Whatever. I'll continue to come here like an idiot and sit here and talk about it. At least the game was in our team in the first half. Then, you know, Golden State took over in the second half. Whatever, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what else to say. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to use this as a practice. I don't know what else. I'm just going to practice making videos. You know, some people say I kind of, um, here, I, I'm making eye contact. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the camera right now. So, look, um, I don't know. Um, I'm too fucking big. That's the problem. There's, somebody actually told me to put the camera all the way up here, but there's a fucking window there, so that wouldn't work. Um, well, unless you put it on. Okay. Well, um... Um, that's how I can say, ladies and gentlemen, I will continue to make these silly videos. They're actually getting views. I think they're at least, they're actually looking, people are actually looking at my videos. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, it's very hard to come here and talk about it. Like I said, Golden State fucking is, uh, is going to the finals. Cleveland's going to the finals. But Celtics ain't about shit. I'll say Isaiah Thomas is out for the season with a, with a hip injury, by the way. If you did not know that, Isaiah Thomas is out for the rest of the playoffs. He hurt his hip last night in the, in the second quarter, I believe, and he is done for the rest of the season. So Isaiah Thomas will no longer be playing for the Celtics for the rest of this season. Possibly Leonard could be out. If he doesn't play on Monday, he'll be, he'll be out for the rest of it. We'll see what happens. At this point, there, is there really a reason to want to put Leonard in there? Not really. Like I said, nobody has ever, 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 ever come back from a um from three down. So at this point, Kawhi Leonard should just start looking at um vacation plans, going fishing, going on vacation with his um um lady or something like that. Because it's there's no point in trying to just get that ankle ready for one game. You know, okay, maybe you win game the next game, and then you're losing game five at, at, at down, over, down over there at, um, at the West Coast. So if you want to try Kawhi Leonard to play in game four and maybe possibly try to take a series to five games, okay, Leonard, I wouldn't do it. I would start looking at flights. Am I going to go fishing? What am I going to do this offseason? You know basketball, before you know it, you're back at it. Um, in September, you'll be starting training camp all over again. So you want to enjoy your – if you're not going to win a championship, you might as well have a good vacation. We'll see what happens. Let's hope – I don't know. Let's just hope for a good NBA Finals, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just hope for a good NBA Finals. We'll see what happens. Like Stan Van Gundy said, let's just go – let's just make it the best of – what did he say, 20, whatever he said, 19? I don't know. We we I feel like we're working Rob right now to playoffs, and they should. I'm just I'm obviously joking, but they should make give us some extra games in the finals to make up for the season because this season has been so boring, so predictable. But ladies and gentlemen, I am out. I am leaving. I have. A sh I, I I will continue to come here. I don't, is there a, I don't know. Is there is there a game tomorrow? If not, I'll be be talking about something because I want to talk about something. Um. But I, I want to make a, t a video about something that um, if there's no basketball tomorrow, I will be on here anyway, talking about something else. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have to say. Oh, this is good. And I'm looking at the camera right now. Um, yeah, so 
Um, yeah, so what what else can I say? Um, this video is kind of boring, I know, whatever. Until next time, I will catch you guys on the road. And until next time, you know, um, stay tuned. I will may be making a video tomorrow. If, no, if it's not NBA, I'll be doing something else. But stay tuned for tomorrow. Until next time, it is the man that runs the place. And holla at your boy!